everyone for this transition i'm making my clip two seconds which is about four beats but you can make yours longer or shorter it won't affect the keyframes but i recommend making the clip less than five seconds to still keep it smooth we're going to use 3d fonts to make 3d objects for this video so if you don't know how to use fonts to make objects check out this other video of mine i explain it there and i compiled a bunch of fonts that you can use as objects for this video we'll use the fonts cityscape and little city 2000 these will be linked in the description First, merge your clips if you haven't already. Then open multi-layer and make it 3D. Make your color background green or dark blue, whichever color is easier to mask out later and won't blend with the colors you're using. For the first layer, make a color layer. This will be the color of your platform. Go to layout and make it a cuboid. Go into that layer and rotate it vertically by 0.25. Then reduce the layout to about 2 to 5. Make the size 200 and drag it down until the bottom is at the edge of the screen. For the second layer, you can use another color layer that's a bit darker or lighter than your first color, or you can find a pattern or background you like on Google and import that. I found this grid background by googling grid tumblr background. Go to layout and add cuboid. Press the arrow and select front, then go into that layer and copy keyframes from layer 1. For layer 3, make a text layer. Go to the style and make it 3D. Go to font and scroll through where the font starting with an L is. The font is little city, but because it's a bunch of symbols, it won't actually say little city. So just try to find this. The letters I'll be using from this font are K and L, but you can check the font for the complete list. First, I'll be making the L symbol, but again, you can choose whatever letters you want to do and where you want to put each building. Once you've chosen a symbol, go to color and just change it to whatever color you want. Then go to outline and change it to your most recent color and make it a little darker so that it looks more realistic. Then go to spacing and adjust the bottom slider to change the thickness of your buildings. When you're happy with how it looks, just press done. Then edit the keyframes for that layer and show the other layers. Drag the slider on the right to change your perspective and decrease the depth and drag it from side to side or use the left and right arrows to place your building on the platform. If you want, you can reduce the size and use the horizontal rotations to tilt the buildings. Once that's in place, just create another text layer and repeat the process. You can add as many as you want, but I'm just going to make one more using this font. Now I'm going to use the other font, Cityscape. I'm only going to use a capital W from this one. Other than that, it's the same process of changing the color of the font and placing the building. Next, we're going to add our person. Import the picture and add a mask. If you want to add a reflection later, press the three lines at the top and click export mask. Once you've added your mask, go into that layer and place your person the same way that we've been placing the buildings, this time just increase the depth to keep them at the front. If you want your person to be 3D, add another layer and copy the last layer. Then copy the keyframes from the last layer and reduce the depth by one by clicking on the left side of the circle. Just repeat this process until you're happy with the thickness. I've found that usually 3-5 to five layers is good enough. Once you're done placing everything, create a master and add all of your layers. Zoom in if you want and center your person. I'll show you two options for your camera movement. For option 1, at the beginning of your clip, you want to turn it horizontally to a number about 30 to 40 to the right. At the end of your clip, turn it to the left, but make sure that the numbers are the same. Then just add this graph. For option 2, at the beginning, turn it horizontally to 50, either the left or right direction, doesn't matter. Then at the end, turn it to 0 and add this graph. When you're done with the camera movement, exit out of the master layer so we can adjust the lighting. You roll around the little sphere to change the angle of the lighting, and to make it brighter or darker, adjust the little thing on the left. To increase or decrease the size of the light, use the thing on the right. If you don't want to add a reflection, just create your clip and you're done. You can just add it to a background and you're done. If you do want to add a reflection, you want to save the QR code for your multi-layer setup before creating your clip. And you might also want to write in your notes what each layer had. For example, you could say for layer 3, I used the letter L to get this symbol. 
Then you want to go to Google and search up environment map and just save any of the two that you like. Import those to video star. Then go back to multi-layer and use the QR code for your city setup. Add everything you had earlier exactly the way it was. So use the same photos, make sure you use the same symbols. And for the mask, for the person, you want to use the shape mask that we exported earlier. That way you have the exact same mask on your person. Once you've loaded everything in and it looks exactly as it was earlier, make your color background green. Then go back to layer 1 and go to color and add the solid color effect and just keep it red. Do the same thing for layer 2. For the text layers, edit the text and change all of the colors to dark blue. Make it the same shade. For the mask of your person, go to color and add the solid color effect as well and make it green. Make it the same shade as your background. Lastly, turn off the lighting. This way, the platform will have a different reflection from the buildings and our person won't have a reflection. Then just create your clip. Go back to multi-layer and for layer 1, add the environment map. For layer 2, add the clip that we just made with the blues and reds. Mask out the blue and create your clip. Go back to multi-layer and for layer 1, add your other environment map. And for layer 2, add the new clip that we made with the first reflection. Mask out the red and create your clip. Then go back to multi-layer and for layer 1, add the original clip with all of the colors. For layer 2, add the new reflection clip. Add a mask and mask out the green. Then go to color and add the blend background effect. And you can try out the different options to see which reflection looks best on your scene. And if you want, you can turn down the opacity if your reflection is too intense. Once it looks good, create your clip. And now you can make a background and add your clip on top of it by masking out the green and use VSMB to add motion blur and you're done.